this is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is continuation on a two video sequence where I've got a positive plate over here. This is the focus cell which has nothing connected to one side and the negative side is connected up. Which gets things a little complicated but the whole idea is we've got a positive plate going through the water nothing on the positive side of the focus cell and the negative plate hooked up. And explaining is going to be rather complicated I know. The negative plate consists of three plates on the focus cell. The positive plate consists of three plates which is not connected up and we have that coming from this plate all the way over here. So what we're going to do is hook it up and see what happens. I'm hooking it up to a 12 volt supply. Remember there is actually nothing hooking the focus cell to the positive side. But, let me take a look at this. I think we can all agree that this quote neutral plate idea seems to be working. Still not quite sure exactly how it is working. So what you're looking at here is the positive side of this is going through water. There are no positive plates hooked up to the focus cell at all. All that, all those bubbles that you see there are coming by the electrode on this side way over here which is hooked to the positive part of the battery, which is going through the water, going through all the plates, and hitting the negative plate. Which in itself is pretty interesting. I know it's going to be boring to a lot. There's a good shot. So what you're seeing there, in fact, are plates that aren't hooked up. Actually, there are only three plates that are hooked up in this focus cell. They're all negative. In the rest, out of 11, that's eight plates, are not hooked to anything. So if we look over to the side here, you can see the plate that's hooked to the positive side or battery. It's way over there. These are my plates. So now you're probably asking, well, what exactly is the focus cell going to put out anyway? So I'm going to show you that. What I'm going to do is hook up, instead of through the water, I'm going to hook it directly to the focus cell. I'm going to see what it will do, right? Okay, so right now hook up to the focus cell without any ado to it. Gosh, I don't know where I got that word. Anyway, I'm hooking it on the battery now. It's drawing 9 amps. And I guess you can see I don't have to say much about that. That's only uh, it's drawing 8.25 amps.
Right, let's see if we can hook up a different combination here. So what I've done now is hooked up the voltmeter across two plates, one on this side, one on this side, and the focus is in the center. Just added some more water so I could bring the water over the level of the plates. Okay, so we've got 0.66 volts across the two plates that aren't hooked to anything. Now the focus cell is hooked up. It's going to be hooked up to the battery. And you can see what's going on with that. What's interesting here is that we've got five volts across the two plates that aren't hooked up to the battery. Essentially there are neutral plates. All this is just data and uh, but it is interesting. So the two plates that don't have any voltage hooked to them at all is showing 4.97 volts. We're drawing 8 amps across the focus so that's why it's only filling the room with with hydrogen fumes. That's only at 8 amps. You can imagine what would happen if you brought that to 15. <laughs> and, uh, well, okay. Turn it off for a minute. <coughs> okay, what you're looking at here. This plate here isn't hooked to anything. <clears throat> this plate here isn't hooked to anything. That's what I have my meter across. I just turned it off. You can see it's at 0.56 without any voltage going across the focus cell. That was the meter that was registering over 5 volts which is really interesting when you think about it. So I've got, I'm getting over 5 volts between the two plates that are not hooked to anything. When the focus cell is turned on, what I'm going to do is get a, another meter across that. Without any voltage on it at all, we're getting one 0.01 volts across the focus. That means that's the capacitance of that. We're getting 0.55 volts across the two plates that are not hooked up. I'm going to turn it on again if I can breathe in here. Okay. There's your focus cell. It's running at 9.79 volts. It's 7.93 amps. And the two plates that aren't connected to anything are reading 4.95 volts. And they're at both sides across from the focus, which is really interesting, which means it's not going through the water like I thought it was. It's actually picking the voltage up on both sides. So all this time, at least I was looking at it as going through the water. This kind of proves that out, that it doesn't go through the water at all. We're getting 4.88 volts across, i got to disconnect this, across the two plates that aren't connected to anything. It's this plate and that plate. That's interesting. So what that's telling us is the voltage isn't going across 
the neutral plates at all. At least that's how I'm reading it. You can reach me at John Aarons at HydrogenTap.com or you can go to my site HydrogenTap.com.